Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is going to be video number four. And if you guys missed videos one, two, three, feel free to check them out on the top of the video description. I'll leave the playlist there. However, this is where we are starting off. We are currently working on 20 Hunter on our main account and on our combat only account. Pretty much. We are currently working on 80 strength because that is going to unlock a new relic for me on that account. With that being said, very quickly before we start the episode, thank you so much for insane supports on the first three videos. It is really crazy to see thousands of you guys subscribing to the channel, so thank you very much for that. And with that being said, we're gonna jump right into the content. The goals for today are pretty spicy, especially on our main account. And here we go, 20 Hunter completed. The first goal of today is now done. I am going to be smelting about 200 iron ores and that means I should be getting about 100 iron bars out of that. Then I'll be making those into arrowheads and then I will be training my fletching all the way to 60 with uh, basically creating arrows. I could create knives but I think that process of getting fletching XP on top of smithing XP is smarter to do. 30 smithing and that's pretty much perfect because from now we can create steel things so I'm getting called on discord I ended up getting pretty unlucky and I only got 88 iron bars but you know what that is totally fine I'm also uploading the video so I'm gonna be lagging insanely hard as I record this but smithing is 31 let's see how much we get making all the arrowheads 40 smithing and we are literally one bar left until we are out of the bars so that is very nice let's go ahead and see how many points we can collect if we collect all of them right now so we can go here oh i'm still lagging like crazy tasks and claim points okay basically a thousand points left not too bad i'll put this in the bank for now let's go ahead and actually i can't really I, you know what? i'll use the bronze knives train a bit of range uh, but the problem is i can't train range until i get money for feathers so i can make these arrows so then i can train range i decided to start my range training on chickens which is not a dumb idea especially since i technically need to get what like 600 more feathers to be able to make the shafts or whatever obviously i could just buy them but since chickens have like no defense i don't mind throwing some knives at them 30 range accomplished and we can now have maple shortbow i'm gonna be doing this until i can wear a uh, magic shortbow because i got it from the clue so we're gonna go all the way to 50 range and we also just achieved a pretty damn nice level 1000 total with over 10 mil experience gained already which is kind of huge I think I'll be finishing range on the later at a later date. So for now, let's go ahead and finish 99 fire making because I think it would be really nice to have the first 99 on the account and we are a little bit uh, broke. Let's see how many points we collected before we start off with the winter thought. And I think I'll be opening, I don't know, over five crates at the same time, pretty much. So let's see tasks, claim points. Nice, we got like 60 there, I think. I am pretty excited to get to the point where I can get to the next relic, but that is still pretty far away there it is 92 fire making nice we have a couple of chests five of them actually let's see what do we get Ooh, nice pyromancer hood another piece couple of uh, sharks which is good 10k coins never bad and all i need is uh legs and i look like an absolute beast we are now 93 almost 94 fire making and we're gonna do another open of four crates more burn pages. Burn pages are always useful. Tot flex is pretty useful and 13k on top of that. So pretty good. So 50 winter tot KC and we also got 94 fire making in that game. Definitely getting pretty close to 99. It's going to take me, well, I'm getting about 2.7 mil XP an hour. Um, so it's not going to take me long at all. Uh, we can also go tasks and claim the points. So now we, oh, that was only 10 points. We have a few more chests to open. Let's see what do we get. Renars, Irrits, no coins though, but still not too bad, honestly. There we go, 95 fire making, just four more levels to go, that's pretty nice. Many hours of AFKing later, we have achieved 80 strength on the account. Uh, I'm gonna go obviously for 80 attack next, but the thing is, if I claim all my points i'm gonna be missing 20 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get 20 wood cutting 20 fire making very very quickly 
and then we can claim our next relic which is gonna basically give us double XP in uh, combat stats so that's gonna be huge for that account meanwhile we're almost 62 agility here almost 96 fire making things are looking very very solid never mind I do not think training uh fire making and wood cutting will be necessary because I am going to get 40 um, farming just like so and now if I take my tasks claim my points I can now select my new relic and we already know we're gonna go with the way of the warrior but uh, on my main we went eye of the artisan it's either one or the other way of the warrior Alright, so as you can see, we will receive 2 times XP in attack, strength, defense, hit points, magic, ranged, and most importantly, prayer. So, it's gonna be really good for this account, we're gonna select the way of the warrior. Um, very nice. Look at the animation, it's beautiful. And where is it? Where is it? There it is, 96 fire making, 3 more levels to go, 1025 total, and we're also gonna be opening the crates in a second. This time we have 5 of them, let's see what do we get. More burnt pages and 6k, some raw food for the cooking, toad flex seed, cannot complain, that's quite okay. There it is, another 50 points for 60 wood cutting coming through, very nice. There it is, 97 fire making, only 2 more levels to go, very nice. I'm trying to get 1k points this game, let's see if we can make it happen. There it comes, my construction level now. Yoink, 40 construction coming through, that's extra 50 points while, once we do claim the task. Alright, we are currently 97 fire making. How many chests do we have? Five, but a couple of them are 1k point chests. Let's see what do we get. Burn pages. Coins. Coins are really good and burn pages are awesome. Here we go. 98 fire making. Ladies and gentlemen, just one more level to go. I'm very hyped to be done with this. Oh man, I've been keeping the 2.6 mil XP per hour for pretty much... All the time like for the past six mil xp here we go four more chests what do we get oh 20 000. that's very good and some raw food that we can oh and more gold ores very nice and here we have it ladies and gentlemen a couple hour grind i think i did it for about three more hours today and we're finally going to be done with fire making this is why unlocking artisan before finishing it was just so good and also getting all the other stats before doing it just means that we get better loot from chests so there we have it i could have done this day one but the loot i would get from it would not be nearly as good as I'll get from this. There it is, 99 fire making. The first 99 on the Twisted Leagues is accomplished. The second one is most likely going to be uh, fishing on this one. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get a fire making cape. Uh, but we're going to make our way to the bank, open the remaining of the chests, hopefully get a phoenix. There it is, man. Very happy with this. And uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, well, first, actually, let's go ahead and check tasks, claim points, see how much we need. We need 500 points somehow. Let's figure out a way to do it. So we ended up getting 56k coins, which should be enough to finish my 99 um, fishing. We also ended up getting these supply crates left. So let's see what do we get in those. Uh, okay, 66k, that will be enough feathers right there. I'm gonna cook all the raw food that I got first in hopes of being able to get to 60 cooking. Let's try to get that. Crafting is first, we get 40 crafting, and that means we can get, I think, 50 points, right? Is it 50? Let's see. Ooh, that's actually kind of huge. I I'll uh, cut all the gems just so I get higher crafting level, why not? 46 crafting from literally cutting all the gems, very nice. There we go, I hopefully bought enough feathers to finish off my 99, and I have 8k left to spare. Not ideal, but it's okay. So I went for 18k, even if I went over the amount of feathers that I will need, I will then use them on fletching anyways, so we're perfectly fine. Okay, there we go, we cooked all the food we got, and we ended up on 57 cooking. So I've planted new crops, got to 31 farming, at 34 we can do tithe farm if we have 100% Hosidius favor, so I think logically that is going to be the next thing that we go for. Now, I have 79 salt, Peter, we're gonna, we can check how much this gives me, I think we need about 200 regular compost though. Oh, I used a lot of money though. Ah, uh, maybe I used too much money on the feathers. Hopefully that's not gonna fuck with me now. Let's see. Um, let's just get a hundred for now and see where that gets me. There's no way this is not gonna be enough. I already done this wrong once. So boom, 45%, perfect. All right, so I think one of the tasks is to make 20 stews at the same time. So I think I just click serve. 
There we go, the task did it get completed? A little explanation while editing. You can't complete this task if the stu number is the lowest. You see on the top left corner, there's like three lines. If the stu is the lowest, it won't complete itself, even if you hand in 20 at the same time. So you basically need to hop around world, see where the stu is not the lowest, and then it will work. We ended up finishing this task a little bit later. All right, let's see, is that 60? There it is, 60 cooking. That means we can now go ahead and get another task done. But uh, I'll be finishing Mass Hall until I have 100% Hasidius because it is unbelievably fast and pretty decent XP actually. So we go tasks, we claim. We need 440 points left. 65 cooking coming in and we can now start doing pizzas. Also the favorite is almost at 100%. Alright, so a hard task apparently is to do 20 pizzas at the same time. We've done them. Let's see the favor that we get. We get 99 favor, 113,000 experience, two levels in cooking from just doing that. And did we complete the task? We did. Nice. How many points do we get for that? Let's see. Tasks should be 100. And it was 100. These guys need some pizzas, man. No worries. I got them. How much XP? 121k, 69 cooking. Would it be worth it to go for 80 here? It might be. Another task completed, claim points. That was just 10. Okay, because now we are fully Hosidius favored. I think I'll go for 80 cooking, guys. That's like gonna take me no time at all. So if you're wondering how to do mass hall, well, I'll quickly show you how to do pizzas, but if you don't know for the stews or pies, just check out old school RuneScape wiki. But this is how I do it. I start off taking 14 of these, then you take 14 of these. You fill the bowl with water. I'm in a pretty laggy world, as you can see, there's a lot of people doing this right now. But it's very, very fast XP, and it's probably gonna be the meta to, to 99. And then make the dough. I hold W, I mean, I hold 2, key 2, so I make the pizza dough. And I just click this. It's a bit laggy world, if it's not laggy, it's a bit easier. Then I, you can either drop the balls or put them back in. Then you take tomatoes. Click, click, click. You get the tomatoes going. Then you get the cheese. Uh, boom. You get the cheese going, and boom, there you go to the range, you drop everything but one pizza, and now when you cook, boom, you pick, you cook, you pick. This is much faster, and we're almost done. At that point, all you need is pineapples, but it's a bit tricky, you take full pineapples, I like to drop one, I like to take a knife after that, boom, cut all of them. In the meantime, quickly use one, pick another pineapple, cut the rest of it. Quickly drop the knife, put the pizza there, and just like that, boom. In 1 minute and 30 seconds, the problem this world is kind of, they don't need pizza. So we find a world that where they need pizza, but in 1 minute and 30 seconds, we got about 100k experience just like that. Right, please, please tell me it works, please tell me it works. Please. Yes, nice, it worked. Perfect. Whoo, that was a race. Okay, now we did this two one as well. And we should be gaining how much points? That was 50 just for the stews. Oh, how cool is that? Nice. Let's go back to pizzas for three more levels. I will never get tired of those XP drops. 79 cooking, one more to go. About two more games to do. Let's get it going. All right, this is fucking cringe. Why did I say let's get it going like I'm like an idiot? And here we go. I don't really care if it's that little. It should be enough. There it is, 80 cooking, also accomplished. I didn't think I would go that far, but that is very good because that is 100 extra points. We just need that 180 more. Here we go, let's see if that's true. Open the gate. Did we get it? Yup, tasks, claim points. That was 50 points, just like that, awesome. Here we have it, big level 34 farming. We can now basically plant or grow Gologonavadagilov fruit in Hasidius, perfect. We're gonna just finish this and then, uh, yeah, we're gonna go and do Tithe Farm game. We're gonna do a full game to hopefully get to 45 and uh, should be very nice. Another task completed. We have just planted 100 Golovanova seeds. And that means we now can claim the rewards and... Okay, we need 80 points somehow. And here we go. We have 100 fruit. How much experience are we going to get? 45,000. From 30 something to 46 farming and we can now enter the guild I think. Oh that's so good because that will give me tasks obviously. 
But 30 points, I think entering the guild will give me the rest of the task. So let's go ahead, enter the guild, get out of this place as fast as I fucking can because I don't like it. And uh, plant stuff in the guild and then go on and continue fishing. And there we go, we have entered the guild, meaning that we can now uh, check the tasks, claim the points and unlock one more relic. Now, I am already decided what I want for content, for the boys, I'll do Treasure Seeker on that account. On my other account, Conar's Blessing is honestly so insane that if you don't take it, you're just dumb. And then Spear of Din is like, it's interesting, it's good if you go for let's say 200 mil... Uh, Winter Todd or anything like that. Hon honestly, I don't want to do that, right? So I was basically choosing between these two and then looking at the points you get from completing clue scrolls, treasure seeker. Look, creatures which drop clues now drop them at the rate of 1 to 10. We're going to be getting so many clue scrolls, so much content out of that. It would be a shame not to take it. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, let let's collect it. Confirm. And we now have... Why is my screen black? There we go. Treasure Seeker unlocked and only one more, um, one more, uh, what's this called? One more triple, triplets of, well, well, just one more relic that we can unlock, but uh, we need a lot of points to get there. So let's get uh, AFKing a little bit. I've been playing very a lot too much. Yeah. Alright, so we are at my favorite place in the game again. We are fishing and we got to 85 fishing. I did it on the phone actually because I just ended my stream. But most importantly, we also just got 80 attack on our AFK slash Slayer account. Now, people might argue, right? Why am I here and why am I not doing Slayer, for example? And getting like... Because it could be like bad if I were to get like 99 strength and then get useless experience. But the thing is here... I'm never getting useless experience because I get bonus points, for example, even if I make it to like 25 mil strength XP or anything like that. So it's actually really, really good. And um, basically, I've just left this account at Sandcrabs today because I hard focused on my main. I did all the farming. I did all of the things like that. So naturally, leaving this account AFK was, you know, next thing to do. But tomorrow, when I'm going to be hard focusing on my main account to just fish... We're going to be doing Slayer on our um, on our Slayer account. So that is also the reason why I go for two accounts. It just keeps things interesting for me. So when I'm doing something boring on one account, I can do something interesting on the other and the other way around. So really happy with the progress today. And with that being said, we're going to be concluding the video over here. Uh, these are going to be the stats on our main account at the end of today. Just one level shy of 1,100 total. It's almost like I planned it that I want to get this done tomorrow. And we just reached uh, 20 million experience, almost 21 mil XP on the account. So the stats are very well rounded. Obviously, I could get some easy points on some other skills. This might be time for, for example, after we get 99 fishing, we could look into getting more points. And then the stats on our Slayer slash AFK slash secondary account, let's call him, are also very decent to start training Slayer. I've left him, as I said earlier, here for the entire day and 80 attack, 80 strength, 60 defense, nice amount of Slayer and HP and uh, we can just focus on Slayer whenever we are doing AFK stuff on our main account. So that being said, thank you very much for watching today's video and if you enjoyed a like would be highly appreciated. I'll see you again tomorrow on the live stream and with the video and until then have a beautiful day. Bye bye.